channel. I am Flawless Mocha. If you're returning, thank you for stopping by once again. And if this is your first time here, just get comfortable because we're in for another series. And today's series is Business Boutique. On Business Boutique, I talk about a topic and I basically give you advice and information so it can help you build your brand, build your personal image, and so forth. So today's topic is how to find a top quality hair and wig vendor. This is definitely a top requested video and I'm happy because for someone that like been in the industry for a little minute and I did all the research on my own to find my vendors, to find my hair vendor, to find my wig vendor and I just want to give advice to help you guys find your top quality hair and wig vendor. I know it could be like a lot because it's so many hair out here, so many vendors, you don't know who to go with, who to choose. So we're definitely gonna get into all that in this video. So let's get into the video. I'm not gonna keep on chit-chatting and doing the intro. Let's get deep down into the video. This is definitely a note-taking video because I wrote like, I have notes. I have notes for days because I just, I definitely wanna give you guys all the tips and all the advice that could really help you and after this video i want you to be able to go and take everything i said and find your wig vendor find your hair vendor it's going to be kind of like the same thing for a hair and wig vendor i'm just putting them both together because you have some people who just want to sell bundles you have some people who want to sell wigs and you have some people who want to sell both so that's why i kind of collab both of them hair and wigs like extensions wigs together so i'm gonna start with the what not to do and i want to start with the what not to do because it's just a lot when it comes to hair and like i this is my personally how i personally feel everybody's trying to catch a come up in the hair industry you have some people who's in the, in the hair industry because they love doing hair you have some people who's in the inner hair industry because they love selling hair they they like hair they do their own hair so it's like why not sell hair if i'm wearing hair like 24 seven, if I'm always getting my hair done. But then you have some people who are doing it because they see how easy it can be for a quick come up. So I'm gonna start with the what not to do. Stop purchasing every vendor list. And I say that because everybody who's selling, selling vendor list, everybody is not hairstylist. And then you have some people who are selling vendors because it's a quick come up, because everybody wants to find a hair vendor. Everybody wants to find a wig vendor. So they're just putting things together and just selling. So not every vendor list you should purchase. Um, another thing too, you have some stylists that you would hit up for a vendor list or so forth. And I'm not saying nothing is wrong with that, but you have some stylists that they're not selling you their vendor. They're selling you other vendors. And you're kind of like wasting your money in a way because it just looks like, not just looks like, it's just basically, they're just selling you whatever because it's an easy come up. It's like, all right, you want a vendor, I'm gonna give you whatever. But it's not personally their vendor. And I'm not saying all hairstyles is like this because you do have some hairstyles that would give you your personal vendor. But let's go back in time when people was finding vendors, you have to remember vendors was like a very confidential thing. Like it wasn't something you would spread or just give away. It's just now you see a lot of vendor lists. Oh, I'm selling my vendor. You said, but back then it was never like that. It was something that you keep confidential because this is your business. Like, why should I give you my secret ingredient? Like, you shouldn't be able to give away a secret formula that easy. Like I said, everybody's different and you could disagree to not disagree, but that's just my personal thing. Like, not every vendor list you see, you should buy because not everybody's real right and not everybody is selling great vendors. And then you have rotating vendor lists. Like, all thing that's changing is the cover page and the list and how the order of the vendors is, but it's the same vendor list that's circling around. So that's something I would say definitely be careful with is purchasing every vendor list because not everybody is doing it to help you. Some people are just doing it to catch a quick come up. So we're gonna go into the do's. I just wanna get into how you guys can find your top quality hair and wig vendor. Um, that's the only advice I have on a don't with the vendor list is, and I'm not saying vendor list is wrong to purchase, cause like I said, you have some people that's out there helping you, but not every vendor list you should purchase. Kind of do your research on that too. But we're gonna go into how to find a top quality hair and wig vendor. Number one is WhatsApp. If you do not have the WhatsApp, that's the first thing, that's the first kind of mistake. You need WhatsApp. 
WhatsApp is the way to find your vendors. Companies will spam you. Hair vendors will spam you. And I mean spam you because I'm gonna show you my WhatsApp. They will find you. Once you start, once you come in, like not even, you could be fresh in the hair industry. Once you start using hashtags, hair this, hair that, they will find you. I don't know how they do it, but they find you. And basically they will spam you. This is basically my WhatsApp. This is my WhatsApp. It don't stop. It don't stop. It don't stop. So this is how you will find your hair vendor, WhatsApp. Also on Instagram, but we're gonna go back to WhatsApp. Um, the companies will spam you, like I said. They will find you, they will contact you, they will tell you all the deals that they're having, they will tell you, oh, we're having this, we're having this deal, or oh, they will send you a whole bunch of wigs, a whole bunch of hair you want to test. They will spam you, just know they will spam you. It will be a lot to take in, but at least you know you have a whole bunch of hair vendors that's contacting you, and you could just choose, and I'm going to teach you how to choose between the two. Um, also on WhatsApp, you have video chat. You video chat with them. You They will call you. You video chat. Um, text messages. They send you information. They send you their price list. WhatsApp is basically where all your business Business conversations and transactions will take place with you and your vendor. So you need WhatsApp. WhatsApp is the number one thing that you need. WhatsApp is definitely your number one. And another thing too, um, Instagram. You can also find a vendor on Instagram. I never really personally that like you will start your conversation on Instagram, but it always forwards back to WhatsApp. Um, it's a lot of vendors on Instagram as well. It's a lot of vendors with Instagram profiles. So like I said, you will mostly start your conversation on Instagram, but eventually it would, they would ask, hey, do you have a WhatsApp? Can you WhatsApp? Me? You still need WhatsApp. So let's go into research. So research as far as what do you want to sell? You know what I'm saying? What do you want to sell? You have companies and if you're now coming into the hair market, I will give you two textures to sell, two top textures that you should sell. Number one texture is body wave. And the reason I'm gonna choose body wave over straight is because body wave can straighten, body wave can curl, body wave can wave. You know what I'm saying? Body wave can do all the numerous styles that you want to do, and a curly texture will be your deep wave. Those are the two top um, textures I would recommend. If you want three textures, it will be straight, body wave, and deep wave. All the extra textures as far as kinky straight, yaki straight, kinky curly, princess wave, Eurasian wave, uh, goddess curl, all those extra stuff is not needed when you're not starting a hair vendor. You want to keep it simple and like I said, most all hair vendors and most hair vendors, they sell the top three, which is straight, body wave, and deep wave. Those are the top three textures that all hair vendors have. But if you're now and upcoming, I would say do two textures, which would be your body wave and your deep wave. You don't have to sell everything. And also, I know it kind of, it kind of, it could be kind of like, all right, she's selling this. I should need to sell this too. You, you kind of think like you need to sell a lot or you need to get a lot and honestly you do not you really do not you need to under you need to put yourself and understand what you want to sell and what you want your business to have yes having all the other textures is cool but those are like special textures that's not something you want to keep a lot of inventory on like i said the three top textures on inventory is straight body wave and deep wave. We figure out the textures we want to sell. So how do we find vendors? Another way to find vendors is hashtags. The same way your customers were hashtag Brooklyn hairstylist or wig maker or bundles for sale. The same way customers and clients hashtag, use hashtags to find your vendors. Vendors use hashtags. Vendors, their names be human hair or human hair vendor or HD lace vendor, you know what I'm saying? So you could use keywords like that to help you find your vendor. So I'm gonna hashtag HD lace vendor, if y'all can see. A whole bunch of videos and things came up. So now that's in the hashtags. But if you go to accounts and type in HD lace, as you guys can see, a whole bunch of vendors that has HD lace 
pops up as well. So Instagram is like really helpful, but helping you, it's like a shortcut to finding things. Yes, like I said, it's a lot of accounts that will come up, but it's a way you can still find a vendor. It's like finding vendors is not as hard as it used to be where you have to go on the internet, on Google and search um, hair vendor or look up. It's not that hard anymore. Instagram, they're making Instagram profiles now. So that's like a little advantage that you have now. Also, suppliers be in your DM. Do not try to like push them away. If you see suppliers are reaching out to you, give them a shot. And also what you need to um, look into too, don't look at followers. Just because they have 100 followers or 59 followers, don't mean that their hair quality is not good. So don't look at followers. Not everybody who have high followers mean that their hair quality would be the best either. So. That's what I want to say as well. I think a lot of people play followers in fact, they're like, oh, if they have this much followers, that means their hair have to be the best. No, that's not always true. So you still want to give them a I shot. You know which vendor to like purchase from. So you want to do like little tests, like, you know, a little, like little steps before you purchase. So the little steps I would say is ask to see hair samples. What you ask to see hair samples and catalog. So most vendors have hair samples and catalogs. So they will send you, say, you're gonna say, okay, I wanna see straight texture. They're gonna send you a straight texture. I wanna see a straight wig. They're gonna send you a straight wig. Ask everything you want to know. If they, if you wanna know, they ask them, do you have HD lace? Do you sell frontal wigs? Do you sell closure wigs? Do you sell transparent lace? Do you sell deep wigs? Do you sell this? Well, ask them everything that you want to know. If they responded to you saying yes, 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 let them ask, then go on and say, hey, can you send me pictures? Can you send me reviews? You know what I'm saying? These companies, they have pictures, they can have reviews. If they're sending you stuff and you see it's consistent, like their background is consistent. Background plays a major part because there's a lot of vendors out here that still let other vendors work. So background, when you see that their background is consistent, then you know, okay, this, this vendor is actually using their own products. You know what I'm saying? They're not taking from another vendor. So background plays a major key when they're sending you pictures and stuff because, you know, these companies know how to scam and use other people's stuff. <laughs> for real i know everything that they sell so you know okay is this vendor reliable if they sell like 15 different textures hg lace transparent lace brown lace um hg lace wigs closure wigs frontal wigs if they tell that they sell all this and they go to another vendor and they're telling you well we don't have closure wigs but we only have bundles and stuff like that do you would know that the vendor that sells the majority of stuff is more of a reliable vendor because they have majority of everything that you need. You know what I'm saying? So ask for pictures, ask for videos, ask for reviews. They will send you, they will block out people's faces, but they will send you videos of their hair quality on somebody. They will send you videos of a stylist combing on one of their clients here. They will send you reviews. They will send you reviews of people who write them saying, hey, I love the hair, I love this. They will send you reviews when you ask. So you have to really talk to them. If they are a legit hair company, they will send receipts. They're gonna send you reviews. They will send you the catalog. They will, they're not gonna be scared to video chat with you either. If you're somebody that just don't want to text, tell them, hey, can we set up a video call? They will show you their, they will show you their warehouse. They will show you stuff like that once you ask. So that's another way you can do your research. You don't necessarily have to sit there and text all the time. Set up FaceTime calls, set up video chat calls, and they would help you. They would definitely set up with you and show you, oh, we have this, we have this, they show you their warehouse. They will show you all that once you ask. So far we covered WhatsApp on what to download and then we covered research. So now we're on to testing hair. So we found our vendor, right? We did our research and we decided to go to, with the vendor that sent us reviews, they sent us images, they sent us their catalog, they sent us, we just decided to go with the vendor that has majority of everything. Now, let's test the hair. So like I said, I have three main textures, which is straight body weight and deep weight. And most the hair vendors, they have different grades, as they say, 7A, 9A, 10A, 11A, okay. Let's break it down. They have 
two types of hair. They have virgin hair and raw hair. So what is virgin hair? Virgin hair is the type of hair that is majority in the market. Virgin hair is the hair that bleaches up to 27 color, which is like a honey blonde. Virgin hair has more of a nice silkier feel. Virgin hair is the hair that's more affordable. Virgin hair is the hair that has a nice luster. Virgin hair is the hair that is in majority of most hair companies. Then you have raw hair, and I'm not talking about raw like Indian hair and stuff like that. We're talking about raw Chinese hair. And basically, their raw hair has a little bit more texture. It's more coarse. It bleaches the 613, but it's more raw. Like, it's more textured. Um, so that's the raw hair. Um, so you have to decide what kind of hair type do you like. Do you like silkier hair or do you like more coarse hair? So once you decide on the type of hair you like, I will always recommend to test curly hair. I suggest to test curly hair over straight and body weight because not all vendors curly hair is great. You get what I'm saying? Straight and body weight, you can always maneuver it. You know what I'm saying? But once you find, it's hard finding a great curly hair vendor. A lot of vendors, they straight and body weight hair, majority of the time is good because like I said, it's straight or body weight. Curly hair is a little tricky because you don't want a curly hair that tangles. You don't want a curly hair that mats. You don't want a curly hair that, it looks one way, but when you get it, it's another way. So I, I always recommend to test curly hair hair first before you test straight and body wave. Eventually you could test straight and body wave if you decide to try and keep on going with that vendor, but I always recommend to test curly hair extensions. So my recommendation is to test curly hair. However, you can be a person that wants to test straight hair or body wave hair. Test whatever you would like to test. So, so now it's time to test. So you always want to buy, you cannot just buy one bundle to test. You cannot just buy two bundles to test. I suggest buying a full look. So a full look is basically two bundles and a closure. And the reason I say buy a full look because you can get a full head sewing, you can get make a full wig. You can do something with that hair. If you buy one bundle, yeah, the most you're gonna do is just bleach, but you need to wear the hair. You need to know how the how the hair is on the humidity. You need to know what happens to the hair when it rains outside. You need to know what happens. You know, you have to wear the hair. Testing is not only bleach, color, stuff like that. You need to wear the hair. So I always recommend to buy a full look. And a full look is two bundles of closure. Don't buy anything past 18 inches. And the reason I'm saying don't buy nothing past 18 inches is because you're testing. So you want to buy 14, 12, 16, 18, you know? So if you don't if you don't like it, you didn't lose a lot of your money. Once you go longer, like 20, 24 and stuff, you're gonna spend a little bit more money. So I say try to stay between 12 and 14 inches and see how you like the hair. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna test the quality and testing the quality comes with coloring the hair. Um, bleaching the hair and styling the hair. Those are the three tests you want to do. You want to see how it, how well the hair curls or styles. You want to see um, how well the hair takes bleach and you want to see how well the hair colors. So you want to do those three tests and you must do those three tests. If you're starting a hair company or a wig company, you must test the hair. Also for wigs. If you're buying a wig from the from this vendor, you're doing the same thing. You want to buy there up to 18 inches and test it. You want to test how good the wig colors, how good the wig styles, how good the wig takes bleach. You know, you want to test the hair as far like if you was a customer and you're purchasing the hair, what you will do to the hair. You get what I'm saying? Highlight it, bleach it. Um, put color over it like wear the hair. That's how you test it You cannot just put bleach on it and see okay. It bleaches it's good No, you have to wear it. You have to see how well the hair does in the weather You have to see how well the hair does when you wrap it up at night You have to see if the hair sheds over time do the hair tangle in like two days You have to figure out these things. So you have to wear the hair testing is not only Styling and bleaching the hair. Testing is also wearing it on your head. You cannot give hair to someone else and you're not wearing it. 
So make sure you test your hair as far as you, as the person who's starting their brand, to wear their hair. Say you purchased the hair, you tested it, everything is great. You like it, it bleaches well, it colors well, it styles well, it's little to no shedding, it's, it's just everything that you like. Granted, you like it. So let's go into what a successful hair company has. Most successful hair companies have two to four vendors. Two to four different vendors. And I say this is because not everything you're gonna see or have in one vendor. Like me in particular, I have a vendor just for straight and body wave hair because I love how they straight and body wave hair. I have a vendor just for curly hair. I have a vendor just for full lace wigs. You're gonna have vendors for just for different things and it's okay to have two to three different vendors. It's totally okay. It's amazing if you do find a vendor with everything, but most of the time that's not how it always works. So you may have two to four different vendors. And like I said, that's absolutely okay. Vendors sell different things. You may have a vendor and they only sell HD lace. You know what I'm saying? You may have a vendor and they specialize or they sell only bomb closure weights or only bomb transparent lace. So it's all what you want to sell, like, like I said in the beginning, but like I said, successful hair companies, they always have two to four different vendors. And the reason why is also when you get into situations where your number one vendor or the vendor that sells everything is out of stock, what will you do? You don't have somebody else to go to. So you have to do the research and find at least a second vendor. You don't want to wait until things hit the fan and your number one vendor don't have anything. You're searching, searching, scrambling to find another vendor. So once you have one, still do research to find another vendor. If once you test the hair and you like it, once the bundles are good, their wigs majority of the time is good. And the reason why I say this is because they're using the same hair to make their wigs. Their wigs will not be made with a different type of hair. So once you test extensions and you feel like you like it, most of the time their wigs will be the same thing because that's the same hair they will be using to make your wigs. And that's basically how you find a great hair vendor or a top quality hair vendor. I went through with what app to download, WhatsApp and Instagram. Those are the two that you will need when searching for a vendor. They find you, like I said, they will spam you. And you can also find them using hashtags and just typing little keywords on, on Instagram. Also do your research. Remember, hit up the vendors, talk to them. Don't just look at followers. Um, ask them, do they have this? Do they have HD lace? Do they have frontals? Do they have lace wigs? Ask them a number of questions. They're gonna answer you back. Do a video chat. Let them show you your warehouse. That's all a part of research. You're gonna feel more comfortable. You wanna feel comfortable with your vendor. You, just, you don't wanna make it see, you don't wanna just be like something like you're just buying from them. You should form a kind of relationship with your vendor. You get what I'm saying? And then you go into testing the hair. You see what you like and what you don't like. And if you don't like it, move on and find another vendor. I think a lot of people are scared and they buy vendorless because they don't wanna go through the thing of testing or wasting money. It's not wasting money because this is your business that you're putting in. So you get what I'm saying? Even if somebody give you a vendor list, don't mean everything on their vendor list is good. You still have to test the vendors. You get what I'm saying? So that's why I said do up to 18 inches and just test. That is part of building your brand. You have to test. You're not wasting money. I don't look at it as wasting money. You're just trying to find the best hair for your business. Once you test the hair and you like how it feels, you like the texture, it colors well, you just start. You just up and start. And how you start, like I said, you just need my opinion and my recommendation is to start with body wave and deep wave. Those are the tools to start with and just start promoting it. Wear it on yourself. Um, give it to your friend. Let her send you pictures if you're scared to be in the camera. If you are not scared to be in the camera, put your cell phone camera and show the hair. It's always ways to start your business, especially if you're on Instagram now. You just have to put up a picture and tag where the hair is from. People are always watching you. So those are really my steps on how to find a top quality hair and wig vendor. They're all inside your face. They're there. They're out there. They're not hidden no more. So... 
I hope this video is going to be helpful for you guys. Um, if you have any other questions that you think I left out, just comment below and I will definitely answer them for you. I try to hit all the main points and I think I did. If you found this video is very helpful, just thumbs me up. Um, leave your comments, leave your feedback, and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to your girl. And this was another, my first actually, and this was my first business boutique series. If you would like more of videos like this, giving advice and topics and talking, just comment below what topics you would like me to talk about. Um, and that's really it. Just thumbs up your girl. Leave your comments, leave your feedback, and subscribe. And I will definitely see you guys in my next video.